What's up guys, we're gonna roll beats to them. Be showing you guys how to sidechain any fat filter plugin. If you guys haven't subbed already or turn presumption to do so, go does help it a lot. Let's hop right into it. Long story short, I end I tried to figure this out and ended up having it to just do it on my own and figure it out on my own because apparently it takes 20 minutes to figure out how to click a button. So I'm showing you how to do it. So I'm gonna make this as easy as possible starting right now. So first things first, in any DAW you in, you need the two sounds that you want to do the sidechain effect with. You need the first sound, right? So if you want your kick to affect the sample or 808, okay? You wanna route this sound to that sound, okay? So I want the sample or 808 to go down every time the kick punches, okay? So what you need to do is go down and route this sound to this. Now, I have mine on zero when I route it. If you wanna put it at 100, whatever you wanna do, it doesn't matter at all. So I'm gonna put mine to zero, okay? Now I'm gonna show you what happens if you put it up. Okay, it pretty much just doubles it or makes it louder. I'll just put mine to zero. Next step, you need to load up, okay? The EQ Pro EQ uh, Pro Q3, okay? And just load it up, load it up here. Now the next step for your kick is you go here and you just wanna set it to side chain. That's it, set it to sidechain, right? So the plugin knows this is supposed to be going somewhere. Next, you go to the 808 or the sample you want to be affected by the kick, and you load up the same exact plugin that you had over here, okay? And then before you touch anything, you go to the wrapper settings. So I don't know how this will be for anyone else, um, but usually it'll be here and you just click processing, and you wanna go to stereo sidechain, right click, kick, boom. After that, you wanna to go to analyzer, pre plus post, and you want it to be affected by the kick, and you are done. And all you need to do is just edit this. Now, what I like to do, and just for an example, we can do this, and matter of fact, let's just choose a low shelf, just for an example, and you wanna make this dynamic. So right click, make dynamic, and you can pull this down, okay? So we're not done, almost done. So now you wanna click auto. And then you see this little sign right here. You wanna make sure this is on. So it should be blue and you're done. And now you can just adjust it how you want. Right, and I'm just trying to show you that it's working. Oops. Okay, so that is the Q3. So now I'm gonna show you how to do it with a second plugin just to prove to you that it works. Now I'll just do it quickly with the Pro C2 or the Fat Filter Compressor, whatever you wanna call it. Okay, same thing. I want the kick to punch through, okay, my sample or my 808, whatever sound you choose. Side chain it like that. Whatever DAW, you, DAW you're in, you're just gonna have to figure out how to do that because I can't do it in all DAWs, obviously. Um, so from here, we go here, make sure that we load one up on our kick. Don't touch it, just leave it how it is. Now we go to our sample or our 808. We load up the same exact plugin. And like last time, we go to our wrapper settings, settings, processing. I'll do it again, settings, processing, right click, go to kick and you're all set up. Now from here, what you need to do is go to side chain. It makes sure this, instead of internal, it says external. And now the side chain is activated. And from here, it's up to you to kind of, um, you know, shape it how you want, okay? Um, and usually I'll turn auto gain off and everything else is just, it's just up to you and what you want it to sound like. Um, and then you click pumping for this type of effect. And then let's just. And that's just proof that it's working. So that's it. That's it for this video. It's a short one today. I'm tired of watching videos that take 30 minutes just to learn how to click a button. So I'm just making this for y'all just because I know y'all probably looking for this stuff too. So that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure you got like, comment, subscribe if I'm new. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.